So I was thinking I might change my like um, Instagram handle to What's Her Chops. I have not had much sleep. <laughs> okay, right, we've got this. Hi, I'm Daisy Edgar Jones, and I'm here with L U K to play Ask Me Anything. There was two funny things that happened quite recently. I kept getting messages from people saying like, oh my gosh, you were in New York <laughs> singing on stage with Phoebe, Phoebe Bridges, but I wasn't. So somebody came out with a fringe and sang on one of the songs and everyone was saying they thought it was me. That was quite funny. Apparently I'm really great in one of the season, the most recent season of uh, Stranger Things. <laughs> everyone's saying I look like um, Joe Quinn, who, yeah, um, is brilliant in that series. And I do actually see the lightness. I think we can play brother and sister, so that was quite funny. Everyone was like, oh my God, you're in Strange Things. <laughs> it was actually this weekend, I was at a Paul, watching Paul McCartney, which is amazing, at, at Glastonbury, and um, this girl walked past and went, oh, that's what's a chops, and then carried on walking. <laughs> so I was thinking I might change my like um, Instagram handle to what's for chops. But the, the funniest are when you're about to go to the toilet and someone recognises you and you have to be like, oh, thank you, and then go to the loo. I've had plenty of fangirl encounters, and the, the ones that you, sort of you least expect, like I, I was out and Chris Martin from Coldplay was in the room, and I, I was like, oh my gosh, I couldn't, couldn't think about anything else, and I went up and said hello, and <laughs> it was quite uncool. I was like, I saw you when I was 15, it was the best night of my life. But um, he was really, really nice. I don't know, actually, if Sebastian or Andrew have tattoos, but Paul does, so I think... I think I'd let Paul, because he he's, I think he'd have a very steady hand, and I think he also has good taste in tattoos. He's got lovely tattoos, so I think probably Paul. I think the best thing about coming out of lockdown post normal people has been actually being able to finally see all my friends from that jo job. I feel like normal people kind of felt like my uni experience. It was such a special job for me, and I was so, we were all so young, and we were all at the beginning of our careers, really, and so I think finally being able to actually see each other, and we're like, the best, best friends, so it, I think seeing seeing my pals has been just so magical. So to prep for the role of Kaya, um, I actually I got to New Orleans about an, a month before we started filming, so I had quite a lot of time to kind of settle into the place and, and start to do some work on it. So I, I read a lot of the books that Kaya read in the book, um, and I, I also um, I learned how to sort of drive the boat, um, which was really fun, that was my favourite, and I did a bit of fishing and a bit of drawing. So the first time I met Reese Witherspoon, she came to visit set, which was really exciting. And um, it was really cool to see her kind of come and see Kaya's shack and, and, and you know, because the, the design of it was like so perfect and so how I imagined it in the book. So it was really amazing to see her reaction to it. And yeah, I was just, I'm a huge Reese Witherspoon fan, so it was kind of bonkers to, to meet her and I had to try and play it very cool. <laughs> it's funny because I feel like an American accent is sort of inherently a little more open and confident than the British. I feel like our, my natural accent feels quite self-conscious and a bit sarcastic and it's very in the back of the throat, like we're very in the front. Um, I'm still getting used to going to red carpet events and things like that because my first in introduction to any event was was, was on my laptop or <laughs> via Zoom so I still find them a little bit um, strange but I, I think, uh, I guess the good thing about them is that you're able to sort of uh, be there often with the people that you made a project with and I think that's the best thing you gain from doing You know a project is the amazing people you get to, to connect with and, and make something with so I think being able to sort of see My friends from something and celebrate together that we made a thing uh, Is probably probably the best part of it and, and, and dressing up is also very fun I think my favorite thing about winter and autumn is being able to wear coats and jackets because I just love I love I love a good coat so I think um, I'm excited. I, I, I got a cool like suede coat recently and I'm very excited to, to get that out. I think I'd rather a tequila shot on a night out. Yes, but actually not if you're getting tequila shots from New Orleans because they are honestly the size, they're, they're like pints. That's, yeah, no, but yeah, tequila. My karaoke song, I, I actually won a karaoke competition once singing Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. I won a cheese grater. Um, so, but I don't know, I feel like now it would be Dirty Laundry by Don Henley because there's an excellent key change in that song. And I think any good karaoke song has to have a key change because, you know, the audience are into it and then there's a key change and then it's like, that's how you really get them going. Probably a Victoria sponge cake. I really like those with a nice cup of tea. Thank you for watching. See you soon.